The first time I walked into his house on uh, Spruce Street, I was cleaning a spot off his table. Nothing but company annual reports and prospectuses. He had this uh, phonograph, and I said, don't tell me that works. And he said, absolutely it works. So here he is, sitting there reading Barron's Magazine with a stack of annual reports of companies that he wants to look at, listening to the Gettysburg Address. And I always say about Ronald, still waters run deep. His father used to cut a cord of wood a day for a dollar. That and I'm sure some gardens, and they made a living. He was brought up coming from humble beginnings. I worked together with Ron for 10 years, and I'll tell you what Ron was doing at that time was vacuuming. He did a lot of jobs like that. Did the floors, uh, picked up the trash. Randomly, I would give him a call and say, well, what are you doing? How about breakfast? Well, he loved the hospital to come up here. He always had a cup of coffee and an English muffin with peanut butter. That was it. And he always sat at the exact same stool, kind of at the counter. If he weren't there, you'd worry about him, right? Okay, that's how much of a regular he was. And was very, very frugal. Oh, incredibly <laughs> frugal. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure that one of the reasons he came here was not just to see us, <laughs> but right. because the coffee was pretty inexpensive. He had this one story about when he went out for breakfast once. He was so touched. He was sitting there, and some man went up to the counter, and he paid for Ron's breakfast as well because he thought Ron wouldn't be able to afford it. On the surface, he seems like this quiet person with marginal means, but uh, we struck a chord right away on the investing world because he loved banks. I'm sure if he earned $50 in a week, he probably invested 40 of it. Surprise gifts for a hospital and local library in Brattleboro from Ronald Reed, a local man who died in June at the age of 92. It is a, a very unique story. We are the very lucky recipients of approximately $5 million uh, from his estate. We couldn't we believe stunned. it. We were stunned. <laughs> we, just, we just had yeah, no idea. Had no idea he was wealthy. The very fact that he could accumulate that kind of wealth by being careful and investing well is, is remarkable. If he had the opportunities to go to college and make some choices after college, I think he'd probably be running, you know, Goldman Sachs or you know, Morgan Stanley or something like that. He just, it was something that it came to him naturally. What's really important is his contribution, the dollars he's given to the hospital, just don't end up in a bank account. We have to recognize it. He was really looking for an institution that was fiscally sound and responsibly managed um, that was going to take care of his money. Mr. E believed his gift to BMH would be a wise investment based upon the experiences at the hospital, the relationships he built with staff, and the way he was welcomed and treated really every time he walked in the door. We certainly appreciate Mr. Reed's incredible generosity.